Hello everybody, this is my fourth installment on how to build your own solar panel. In the last video I told you that I was going to be cutting this fill strip, or uh, fur strip as I prefer, uh, ripping it down the middle uh, to approximately half an inch. And what I'm going to do is uh, basically stick that around the edge and make a perimeter so it'll uh, be high enough so the glass will sit over the, the solar cells. And you don't have to um, cut this. If you made it wide enough, you could easily just lay that across, cut it to the right size. Um, but two reasons why I'm actually ripping this one. I'm cheap and I uh, didn't want to buy another one even though they weren't even a dollar. And two, I want to keep this as thin as possible because my solar stands uh, that I'll be showing you probably in a future video, uh, I only have so much room per width. So the thinner I make these, the thinner I can make it and stick in the solar cells. So I'll be saving myself room, uh, which that's the main reason. But yes, I am super cheap anyway. Okay, so I will be using a table saw. But as I usually say, you don't need a table saw. You could easily cut these to length first and make your measurements and use a, a hand saw and just saw down the middle if you wanted to. But if you're not uh, hard up for space like I am, um, you could just cut it to the right length and stick it on there. So once again, I'm going to spare you the noise and I'm just going to rip this to uh, an inch width and use my safety equipment, of course. Okay, so I have cut my half inch strip, and I forgot to actually mention I need two because one's just not quite long enough. And I do have this little leftover, which I'm not even sure, it's probably about, it's a quarter inch. I think what I might do with this, between the solar cells and the, the series of them, I might put that in between as a, a spacer. I'm not sure how it's going to look. I'll, I'll try it. If it looks good, I'll... I'll go with it. If not, I won't use the space, but I'll um, definitely save that for for that project. Okay, now what I need to do is get a saw and cut these to the, the right length on the, the sides. So I will go ahead and do that. Okay, um, so I went ahead and lowered the blade down on the table saw. I figured it might be a little easier for everybody to see. And unfortunately this is my third take. I keep on making mistakes on the video. So I've already pre-cut all of these, but I'll, I'll do it one more time to show you guys how I've been doing it. And I really hope I don't mess up again because I'm running out of wood to show you. Um, there's a few different ways you can cut this. Uh, in this application, I'm just going to use a, a hacksaw. Probably a wood saw might be better, but this is all I can seem to find right now. I think my wood saws are hiding on me. Anyway, I thought about using a compound miter saw, but this stuff is kind of thin and fragile, so if I use that, it might really tear it up. So I'm just going to use the old hacksaw. So I'm going to take and actually get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to take the end here, uh, make it flush with the end, go ahead and clamp that down, take that clamp, and I'm going to scoot this over in case you guys can't see, clamp that down, go ahead and uh, just lay the blade flush with the wood here, and I'm not going to use my safety glasses because wood's really not flying around on this, so I'm going to use the, the handsaw. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. flush now. And since I already have 
this other end cut. I'll clamp that down. Oops. And I'll just show you basically what I did. I took one end, laid it flush. Make sure you guys can see that. Made sure it was flush on that end because I'm going to lay these on the inside. And just take a pencil and I marked off. Not sure if you can see that marked off where I need to make my cut so they'll both be inside on the, the in there. And I just went ahead and cut that, and that ended up being just having all sorts of issues on this one. Okay, so that one, as you can see, it's nice and flush. This one there, good and tight. And I believe this is the one. Yep. Actually, so that's really tight. Okay. So now I have all the ends in there. And basically what I'm going to do now is take my silicone sealant, lay a, a bead across all of them, uh, lay them down flat, and I'll go ahead and clamp them down so they can dry. And then I'm not sure, I might either use a few screws and screw them down, or I'll probably just end up using uh, little brad nails, or little tiny nails, and um, putting a few on there so it'll I'll really make sure it, it holds nice and tight. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and stain the inside, stain these, and go ahead and I'll uh, find my arrangement for my solar cells. And I'll see if this is going to work or not. I'm not sure if it is. Uh, my thoughts are to lay them, uh, yeah, like that, lay them in there so it'll hopefully look nice. And I'll just do that three times, and that'll be my one, two, three, four compartments. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take my strip here, take my 100% uh, silicone rubber sealant, and run a line down the strip here. And I hope that airplane's not too loud. Okay. So now take uh, the strip, lay it down so it's um, nice and flush on the ends. I'm going to use my two clamps here and clamp this down. And usually it will move around once you clamp it, so you might just have to tweak it a little bit. Okay, so now I need to put in these 5 8 inch wood screws, and I'm going to take my drill, and I always drill pilot holes when the wood is this small, otherwise this wood will crack and split. So I'm just going to pick a spot here, that looks good. Okay, so actually I probably shouldn't have gone through, but that's alright. Take my little screw. Um, and as I uh, screw this down, I I want it to be flush uh, with the top because this is where the uh, glass will be sitting on top. So I want it to be nice and nice and flush. So I make sure I get a, a nice good um, seal on the glass. Okay, it's uh, nice and flush. Okay, uh, basically I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this step. Um, and on the next video, uh, we'll just go when these are all uh, already attached. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Take care. God bless.